In this video, I'm going to show you how to sharpen the SOG Tomahawk. Now, I'm not much of a tactical tools person. This Tomahawk was given to me to sharpen by a customer, because I run a little sharpening business. And it's actually a pretty cool little tool. From what you guys know me from on the channel all the time, you can tell right away that this is not my normal style. All blacked out, synthetic handle, the bit, um, the bit mounts onto the handle with these Torx bolts here. Not sure what type of steel is used in the heads. I'm guessing if it's SOG, it's probably some kind of stainless steel. Uh, probably not really known to the customer. I'm not sure on that. I'd have to look it up. And you have a blade on one side, or the bit here. Then you have this sort of a pick, tactical style pick, on this side. So, we're going to focus on sharpening this today. So you can see its current state here, we have some chips, we have kind of a rough edge, and we have a pretty heavy micro bevel right at the edge, which is fine, it's a fairly thin bit, so that micro bevel is probably not a bad thing. What I'm going to do is reprofile this and turn this whole thing into a mild convex, and I think it's going to serve this hatchet really well. So you can see those nicks, I'm going to start with a file, we're going to take all those out and remove this crest from where it switches to its main bevel here to that small secondary micro bevel. So I've just got a Simmons uh, bastard file here. It's a fairly big file because I do usually bigger work than uh, than this small little you know, small little tomahawk. But I'm just going to start working this edge back to remove all those chips. This steel is pretty soft not real hard so it shouldn't be too tough to file at all. I've got this little piece of wood here just to raise a bit up towards me a little more. If it was down on its flat I'd need my file really angled down. By having it up like this I can file almost in horizontal and I can file that bit. So you don't need to get too caught up in this filing part. Uh, as long as you've removed any big chips and dents and so you've got a nice clean edge should be a nice crispy edge you should touch it should feel kind of smooth but kind of grabs your finger you can see the little bits of filings there from where I'm reshaped this bevel you see there's no chips there now and what you can see I've done is I have removed that uh, or I continued on that micro bevel until I got all those chips there and then I recessed that micro bevel so instead of that little short micro bevel it was in the start you can see it's much longer now so I thinned out that bevel a little bit and now we're going to continue on in a much easier way than even with the file and continue cleaning up that bevel what we're going to use to finish this bit is sandpaper now you may not have thought about doing high-end refined sharpening with sandpaper but let me tell you it's cheap and it works like magic so we've got that SOG bit there now that's uh, reprofiled with a, with a file I'm gonna start using some sandpaper on this bit uh, I'm starting pretty coarse much coarser than you need to go this is 60 grit here today that I'm using uh, if you're just trying this method for the first time wouldn't recommend going this low because uh, it cuts quite quickly as you can see let's get you a close-up shot here it's already starting to cut away at that bit you can see those strokes so maybe start with 100 grit paper I'm starting with 60 here today just to speed up the process a little bit and I've had lots of practice so it'll go it should go pretty well for me Your strokes want to be not, uh, you don't want to be perpendicular, pulling directly away from the edge. You want to be pulling out and across the edge. So notice how my scratch pattern is on that diagonal. Okay, and as I refine my edge, I'm going to pull even more with the lie of the edge. I'm going to come more across the edge and that'll help counteract a big burr. It'll help take that burr off while you're sharpening. So here is that scratch pattern 
off of the 60 grit paper. Now I did a couple final strokes back into the edge very lightly and that's why you see the couple the couple scratches like right here on the edge that are not with the other grain which is this way you see some going the other way and that is just to remove a little bit of extra burr I have on there I'm going to switch over now to some 100 grit paper and keep working this bit exactly the same the edge there now it's to an apex but of course it's very coarse so it's not really sharp at this point it needs to be more refined like I said some 100 grit paper and keep doing the exact same thing okay so that's that 100 grit you can see what the edge looks like again some of those reverse strokes where I went a few strokes into the edge at the end to remove any burr you can see a couple light scratches up right here on the black right now that's not real serious I'm not worried about that you won't really notice that when this edge gets done that's just some uh, the paper dusts over there once in a while or grit gets caught up and you get a few scratches but once you get down to the finer grits that won't matter and if it's a working tool it especially won't matter see we're getting a nice uniform pattern after 100 grit going on to a 400 grit now and that's uh, this is when you'll really see that edge start to come in nice right now you could use it off the 100 grit it's a uh, it's decently sharp it's got a little bit of bite to it but it's not really sharp it's not what we're looking for so we're getting a great looking bevel along here now it's got it's getting that nice satin finish I never uh, I never removed all of those factory grind marks they're almost gone but you want to wear those out over time you don't want to remove any more steel than you have to so you want to be fairly gentle preserve the life of your blade those will come out in the next sharpening it's not a big deal to have those there so that's a look after the 400 again the reverse strokes and what I mean by the reverse stroke pattern so when I'm just finished up with that 400 grit I'll lay my axe or my bit right on the paper and I'll tip it down just until that shadow disappears and then I'll run my sandpaper into the edge and I find that just leaves me with a true edge it removes any type of burr if I have to I'll round the corner a little bit if it's not a perfect straight across bit and I'll just do that a few times I'm doing very little pressure here I'll do that on each side of the bit and that just gives me a perfect edge to move up another grit speaking of another grit I'm gonna move now right from this 400 which is a lovely grit right up to a 2000 grit paper And just off that 2000 grit paper, this edge is shaving sharp. And that's not even with an edge dropping. Okay, just to show you the potential with the sharpening method. You could easily, if you have it, give this bevel a dropping, and it would be even sharper, even nicer but as you can see shaving sharp already not necessary hope you learned something from this video you can apply the same technique as I've shown in my other videos to any type of axe even knives convex knives especially this technique will work with produces very nice results very crispy sharp edge there now hope you liked the video hit the like button if you did leave me a comment down below Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Lots of sharpening videos. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.